200 kilometers from the second Niger Bridge, another gigantic project is underway. Welcome to the Bunny Border Bridge Project, a milestone infrastructure development project for the advancement of the Niger Delta and a catalyst for the continued success of Bonny Island, a key industrial area in Nigeria tied to the economic development and general well-being of the nation as a whole. The instructive thing about Bodo Bonny Bridge is that perhaps people, people don't know, Bonny Island is where Nigeria's gas is produced from, a major revenue earner and a major employment source. Before this road is finished, the only way to get there is by water. And this means that everything that is necessary to sustain life, from bottled water to toilet room to anything you can think of on the Bonny Island, has to go through that water every day at a premium. So what this will do immediately is to take off that cost. This project is truly one for the history books because upon completion, it will link the ancient city of Bonny to mainland Port Harcourt for the first time. I rejoice to the people of River State and especially the people of the Bonny Kingdom and Bodo City on this very special day marking the flag off of the Bodo Bonny Road and Bridges Project. The Buhari administration is proving that the clear advantage of good governance is that you can do more with less. The project involves basically the construction of a 50-kilometer road with 14 bridges. We have what we call the mini bridges, 10 of them, and other three uh, major bridges. Of course, you can see by yourself that one is already done. We have completed one, so by the time we do our eight works to, towards Bonny, then we'll have uh, better access to, to construct the other remaining two major bridges. Foundation works and all of that are going on on many of the mini bridges. The major bridges are the ones that are up to 500 meters or more. We have about three of them. Then the other ones are about 200 and something meters, yeah, the, the mini bridges. Another unique characteristic of the Bonny Border Bridge project is that it is a public-private partnership, a shining example of government and the private sector working together for a better Nigeria. Our corporate social responsibility is hinged on four pillars, and those four pillars are brought to life through great partnerships. Partnering with the federal government for the 120 billion Naira Bonny Bodo Road, one of the biggest CSR initiatives by a private company in Nigeria. Um, this again will produce, uh, uh, open up the energy corridor, what Bonny Island is to Nigeria. It will link Bonny to the mainland, Port Harcourt and uh, the rest of River State. And this is what partnerships should produce. I remember when the, uh, the vice president uh, came to flag off the road in, uh, in Bonny about uh, two years ago. I just still imagine the amount of energy and excitement in the community. And people even ask us, are you sure so I can drive my car to Port Harcourt and come back? And we say, that is part of our vision. Just on the back of this project alone, I see employment. Even in this COVID time, the project is back on site. We have about 600, 500 people on site. But yes, it is true, when completed, uh, potential for, for a game changer. But the bigger benefit is for Bonnie people, it's for Bodo people, it's for Rivers people, it's for Nigerians, it's for Niger Deltans. Lots of value for all. So let us first look at where we are. We are in Bodo area of River State. We are in River State. We are trying to connect two communities of rivers. Bodo on the mainland and Bonnie on the island. And it's instructive to point out because I hear some comments that the federal government is not doing anything with rivers. Bodo and Boni are parts of rivers. This is an investment of 200 billion naira in one state. But the money is not as important as its long-term significance. 
So when you talk about poverty and you say reports about um, 133 million people in poverty, yes, those are the problems. But what are the solutions? This is one of the solutions. Conceived a few years ago and being implemented. So this is my fourth trip to this place. The first was to come and understand the problem. And when I came here, there was clarity. Three previous administrations had tried to build this bridge and it failed. But what was the problem? People within one state could not connect each other except by ferry. So it used to take hours. It used to cost a lot more. And it just was an inhibitor of productivity. So we thank you very much. May God bless you. And all around you. And uh, I thank all oh, everybody who is here. And I need your prayers. Join me in praying that we eventually get this group. I would like to thank His Excellency President Tuari, Dear Minister, for the political Dear Minister, will Dear Minister. that APC government has put in place to help in making what we are seeing a reality. We would like to thank you, Your Excellency, particularly, because we know where we started before you set us up as a peace committee under my senior brother, Salamo, uh, Dr. London who have been working right from before your passenger time with me to push for this road. God will bless you. God will bless the president. And God will bless the APC administration. It's my fourth trip to come and observe how much progress the solution is making until we finish it. Uh, in a nutshell, therefore, Wise people are talking about the problems. This government is administering the solutions. And as we finish here, we will go to another place where we are providing solutions. So when you talk about poverty, for example, uh, infrastructure is what addresses the monetary and the multidimensional poverty. You can see all of the people here in their uh, hard hats. There was no job here before this bridge came. But this is where they earn a living today. If you do an aerial survey, you will see men, machine and equipment, what billions being put to use. The economy is working. You will see dredging. Who are the dredgers? Mostly the local people. But that's the short-term monetary aspect of the poverty solution that has been implemented here. The long term is that all of them, some of them are already telling me, oh, when are you going to extend this road to my community? This place is going to open up in a way that will simply be breathtaking. But by the time the economic rewards are coming, Buari and I would have been long gone. But the seeds of ending poverty in this place were sown by the Buari administration.